What y'all are about to hear is a story on Dub S Dub P Overload. So this woman's name is Anna Morgan Lloyd, and she was one of the people that was involved with the invasion at the Capitol on January 6th. And she's so far the first person to actually be convicted of something involving an, an involvement with this. And this is where the the story takes a turn. Not so much for the surprising, but just America being what America is. So you would think with what she did, she would have got time. But she didn't. But then again, are we shocked and surprised? No, we are not. This woman. And I want you to hold on to your seats when I tell you this. Only got probation a $500 fine and was only charged with a misdemeanor that's it she's not going to do any jail time and many of us called this back around the time when this just happened that they said we were saying that these people aren't going to do any real true time now some probably will but not every last one of them she is not going to do that Five hundred dollars probation and misdemeanor charges for breaking in to a highly a very high up government building like you can't get any higher than that except for maybe the White House. Well, I don't know. I don't know where they would rank between the White House and the Capitol. I would say I think the Capitol might be higher than that. But either way, there it's up there. I'm going to go ahead and read this. On Wednesday, the first rioter to be convicted of for storming the U.S. Capitol received her punishment, and it appears her sentence was very lenient. Lenient is an understatement. According to CNN, Anna Morgan Lloyd, age 49, pled guilty to a single misdemeanor for trespassing. Misdemeanor for trespassing. Not breaking and entering, which technically that's what this was. But trespassing. And she was also given a $500 fine. Which means at 10% of that, if that's even a thing for something that low. That's fit. Well, I'm talking about that's a bail. Never mind. Five hundred dollars fine. She would have to pay the whole thing. But that's five hundred dollars. Like that's nothing. Judge Lamberth stated Morgan Lloyd was able to avoid jail time because she didn't take part in the actual violence and was only in the hallway for ten minutes. <laughs> oh my God! I'm laughing. It's, I'm not laughing because it's funny. I'm laughing because of the ridiculous reason as to why this judge believed that she should not get any jail time because she stood in a hallway for 10 minutes and was not actually engaging in the violence. She was there. And technically, since she was, quote unquote, trespassing, that means she engaged just because she didn't get physical with anybody does not mean she wasn't involved. She was there. Isn't that guilt by association? The judge also stated that the defendant was regretful about her actions. Well, I'm sure all of them are going to say that in order to get off. Initially accused of four federal crimes, the rioter reached a deal with prosecutors, according to CNN. It was recommended that she receive three years of probation, a $500 fine. And 120 hours of community service. And she's a grandmother. They stated the grandmother received a lower sentence because of her immense remorse for her crimes. She is among roughly 500 individuals who have been charged in connection with the January 6th invasion and among the first to cop to their crime. But the grandmother's sentencing signal that similarly accused insurrectionists who strike up a deal with prosecutors may not see jail time, a dynamic one federal prosecutor described as a massive win for many far right extremists. No question Morgan Lloyd's case will set precedent for the hundreds of nonviolent accused individuals who participated to, on January 6th. So just be, 
again, just because she did not get violent or physical with anybody, but, but, but she was still there. This is what she gets. In that case, a good vast majority of them are going to get hit with the same thing or going to get the same kind of thing or the same kind of treatment. What if I've been saying this is two different Americas? I don't give a damn what Palm Color try to say. They lying. This is two different Americas we are in. Because if that was a bunch of black people out there, what they did back in January, same age, same gender, this would have not happened. It would have not gone down like that. It probably would have been more bodies on the floor than just a little bit like back in January. Nima Rahman, a former New York federal prosecutor, told the Daily Beast on Wednesday, no question that some charged individuals will be breathing a sigh of relief about the sentencing. This slap on the wrist is a significant win. Prosecutors state that Morgan Lloyd entered the Capitol with a friend who was carrying a Trump campaign flag for about 10 minutes after attending a Stop the Steal rally, part of a nationwide conspiracy falsely alleging election fraud that favored Joe Biden. After the riot, the grandmother of five took to Facebook to express her excitement over her participation in the siege to stop the electoral certification. I'm sorry, certification of Biden as president, admitting that she was among the first 50 people in the building. She felt grand pleasure by being one of the first 50 people to invade that building. That was the most exciting day of my life. And this is another thing PC can do that they can get away with. They can get away with doing something like this, get put it on social media about and boast about how proud they are for committing what should be or deemed as a crime. Again, two different Americas we are living in. This right here is massive proof of it. Again, palm colored, mind your semen colored business. Because I know they're going to have something to say about this. And this we can actually use as leverage because they love to always try to point the finger and wag the finger at black people about what we do wrong. Bring this up. But see, they're going, but knowing them. They are some of the biggest deflection artists in the world. They going to flip this back on us somehow, some way. Trust and believe me when I mark my words. I'm so glad we were there for the experience and memory. But most of all, we can spread the truth about what happened and open the eyes of some of our friends. Among other brutal acts, a slew of alleged rioters, including current and former military and law enforcement charged with the more serious offenses, have been accused of beating Capitol Police with fists, flagpoles, and other weapons. But despite her participation in the siege, prosecutors state that Morgan Lloyd, who has no prior criminal history, did not engage in any violent behavior or coordination on January 6th. But she had a misdemeanor charge of trespassing last time I checked misdemeanor or not. That is a crime. In a letter to the court, Morgan Lloyd took responsibility for her action, stating that she realized that if every person like me who wasn't violent was removed from that crowd, the ones who were violent may have lost the nerve to do what they did. Ahead of Morgan Lloyd's sentencing, her defense attorney told the Daily Beast that her client was terrified of incarceration and hoping to be afforded the benefit of probation after a lifetime of volunteer work and rearing her do- <laughs> and rearing her daughters. When asked about her reaction to her client's case being the first sentencing in the Capitol Riders investigation, attorney Heather Shaner admitted she did not initially realize the hearing had so much significance or was weary about how much president is set. Let me tell you something. Check this out. I'm willing to bet they went with her case first because they knew that she had an easier chance of walking from this. And then they're going to use this as a launch pad to do the same thing for everybody else for or for as many people as they possibly can. Now, they know they can't really get the uh, ones who were extremely violent the same deal. They know they can't get them on that, but they're going to work with the ones who fell into the same position she did. That way they can make it seem like, oh, if we let these many people go, then we need to let the rest of them go, too. Each individual defendant has his or her own story and his or her own actions to show how they have and will accept responsibility for their misconduct to our country, Shanner said. That certainly applies to alleged Oath Keeper Graydon Young, who pled guilty to conspiracy and obstruction of an official proceeding in connection to his role in the siege just minutes before Morgan Lloyd's sentencing. It amounted to the second conviction of paramilitary, excuse, <coughs> excuse me, paramilitary rider on, su- on a much more serious conspiracy charges. During his plea hearing, Young 
agreed to cooperate with law enforcement and testify against his co-conspiracy co-conspirators but while young may receive a lesser sentence than other members of the far-right group who allegedly coordinated the attack as early as december it's extremely unlikely he will receive the same prison sentence as morgan lloyd Raman explained that morgan lloyd's sentence signals would accuse capital riots who were charged with federal misdemeanor crimes could expect to receive during sentencing and set the baseline for those accused of more serious ones which is what i just said a misdemeanor does not derail your life it doesn't change your life in any way if you're white for Morgan Lloyd, her sentence comes after what she described as an immense amount of introspective work and education that amounted to watching the History Channel and getting a library card. In tears, she apologized to the court for her actions on Wednesday. She ain't sorry. I mean, she's a sorry human being, but she's not sorry for what she did. I was there to show support for President Trump, and I'm ashamed it became a savage display of violence that day. No, it should be saying I am ashamed that I became a savage that day or that I engaged in savagery that day. Before handing down her sentencing, however, Lambert said Morgan Lloyd should have known January 6th was not a peaceful demonstration, even as he applauded for her taking responsibility for her mistakes. They applaud such. <coughs> excuse me. They applaud such weak responses. That's a weak response. I don't want to create the impression that probation is going to be the automatic outcome because it's not going to be. Lambert insisted, especially troubled that some members of the congress says it was like tourists walking through the capitol that still blows my mind when they said that this was like tourists walking through the capitol what tourists do you know come there in the fashion that they did that's not being a tourist but then again this is palm colored pretending and getting on cold to protect palm colored even when palm colored is against palm colored and palm colored knows they are wrong dead wrong like i said their code is so thick that they'll get on code against each other to protect each other and it's like if that makes sense two capital riders who may benefit from morgan lloyd sentencing are the bustles Last week, Virginia resident Jessica Bustle and her realtor husband Joseph pled guilty to storming the Capitol with signs protesting WUVIT 19, V word. I'm not going to say it on here. <clears throat> the pair copped to the same charge as Morgan Lloyd, a sign their legal teams told the Daily Beast gives them hope for a probation sentence. And I'm not going to read the rest of it. It's a pretty, it's pretty more lengthier than that, but y'all pretty much get what the gist is like i said they're going to use her to try to get as many plea deals as possible for people to get probation and a fine and she's the launch pad for all of it am i surprised nope but could this happen again possibly it's not like it hasn't happened before but this doesn't surprise me because if you remember what happened with the bundy family back in what i forgot what year that was but it wasn't that long ago when they took over that capital or that government building in Washington <clears throat> and a shootout broke out. Didn't none of them go to jail or maybe they went to jail, but not for a long period of time. And then you remember the shootout that happened in Waco, Texas. Didn't all the charges against those bikers get dropped and they had a shootout with the cops. Were the ones who lived anyway. So. There you go. There you go. But had that been us, we wouldn't even have made it to the building. Some of us wouldn't even made it to the courthouse for a court date. Most probably would have made it to a morgue, though. Now, let me add this last part in here. And I think this is the most critical part of the whole thing. The White House and the Capitol and the Washington Monument are probably the three most recognizable landmarks not only in america but across the globe the whole world got to witness what happened that day and she was a part of that if anyone made a threat online against any of these places you will have every type of law enforcement and government agency ready to hone in on them and probably ready to drop a drone or make a drone strike yet this woman took her hog face ass to that building and because she was only in the building for 10 minutes and being nonviolent, got hit with probation a 500 dollars fine 
and 120 hours of community service. And all she had to do was shed a little tear, some tears that didn't mean shit and probably wasn't even enough to fill up a shot glass. And she gets to literally walk away from that, like literally let that sink in.